Hello friends, I am Tulsan Dagal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to teach you write a program in C to print the given pattern. In the previous video, we printed the pattern in the form of asterisk sign. Now, we are going to print this pattern. In first row, we have to print a only one number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows and column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 The format is same as previous video in the form of right angle triangle format and in first row we have to print only 1 in second row 1 and 2 means in second row we print 1 and 2 and in third 1, 2 and 3 so the printing is equal to the number of rows so in this video 2 in this pattern 2 we must use 2 loops 1 for row this is outer loop and next for printing that is inner loop Let's begin the program with the header file has include stdio.s stdio.s is used for standard input output and next header file is coneo.s and let's begin the main program wide main and then after we have to declare the variables. Let's declare the variable one i for outer loop and j for inner loop and outer loop for i is equal to 1. The outer loop begins with 1. First row i less than is equal to 5. There are 5 rows to print. That's why i less than is equal to 5 and i plus plus inside it the inner loop j is equal to 1 j less than is equal to i j plus plus inside here print f percent d to print the number we use percent d and slash t for tab and then after we have to print the g because we have to print different number 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 that's why we have to print j and then after we have to go in next line print f slash n and close the outer loop and then after write get cs function and then close the program. So, here, when you compile and run the program, how the program runs, let's see. It is start from 1, i is equal to 1, the value of i becomes 1, i less than is equal to 5, it is true, because the value of i is 1. It enters in inner loop, j is equal to 1, j less than is equal to i, i is also 1, that's why true. And it prints J. J means it print 1. And then after, again the value of J increase. J becomes 2. J less than is equal to I. The value of I is 1. That's why it is false. And then it goes out from this inner loop. And it goes in next line. Print F slash N. It means next line. And then the value of I increase by 2. The value of I become 2 i less than is equal to 5, it is true and it enters in inner loop again j is equal to 1, j less than is equal to i, it is true because the value of 1 is less than 2, it is true it prints j and inner loop always prints from the first column it start with 1, the value of j becomes 2 increase 1 and the value of j is 2, j less than is equal to i I, the value of i is also 2, j is also 2 and it is equal 
Now, so it is also true. Then, after again, it prints J. It means 1, 2 in the same line. After that, the value of J increase by 1. J less than is equal to I. The value of J is 3. 3 less than is equal to 2. It is false. That's why it comes out from this inner loop and goes in next line. And third line is started. Third row is started. And the value of I increase by 1. I less than is equal to 5. It is true. 3 is less than is equal to 5. That's why it enters in inner loop. J is equal to 1. J less than is equal to I. The value of I is 3. That's why it is also true. And then after 8 prints, 1 here. And then after increase by 1, the value of J becomes 2. 2 less than is equal to I. It is also true. That's why 8 prints, 2 here. The value of J is 3. 3 is less than is equal to 3. 3 means equal 3. It is also true. That's why it print here 3. And the value of J increase by 1. It becomes 4. 4 less than is equal to I. Means 3. It is false. That's why it comes out from this loop. And then after it goes in next line. Like this in 4th row. It prints 1, 2, 3 and 4. In 5th row it prints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after that, the value of i increase by 6. Increase by 1 and become 6. 6 less than is equal to 5. It is false. That's why it comes out from this outer loop. And then after it prints this pattern. And we get the answer. And we print this pattern. So, thanks for watching.